night quite contrary, not typical cheer, when a crimson tressed vixen did suddenly appear, slinking through the shadows so sly and so bold, intent on purloining a soul she'd been told, her stockings not hung but clad tight on her thighs, as she crept through my house to claim her strange prize. The children, all clueless, just dreams in their head, while snares for one spirit were now what she spread. The moonlight did dance on her locks flowing red, a vision of mischief, of humor, of dread. I and my knack cap so snug and so blind, to the thief in my mess of that soul-seeking kind. She crashed not, nor clamored, but with grace did she move, like a cat in the night, with nothing to prove. And I sprang from my bed to the window I dashed, shutters flung wide, in my curiosity splashed. The sight quite absurd, no sleigh, nor reindeer, but a lady whose presence should instill in me fear. Yet there she was grinning with intent in her eyes, and I couldn't help chuckling, much to my surprise. For who could conceive such a humorous plot? A soul thief with hair like a fiery shot. She moved like a whisper, yet vibrant as flame, and she chuckled and murmured and called me by name. Come here, my dear fellow, be quick and be spry, for I've come for a soul, there's no use asking why, with a skip and a leap, to your soul I shall cling, now hand it here swiftly before I take wing. As leaves in a tempest will twirl and will spin, so my thoughts in my head begin to whirl within. Up to my chamber the red thief did climb, with a plan so bizarre it felt nearly sublime. And then, in a jiff, I heard her near, the padding of footsteps, they were approaching my ear. As I drew in my head and I was turning around, through my doorway she came with nary a sound. She was dressed all in black from her head to her feet with touches of crimson, both cunning and neat bundle of tricks while well, she had those flung on her back and she looked like a bandit just checking her sack her eyes oh they sparkled her lips upturned with mirth cheeks like roses she was not of this earth her lithe little mouth drawn up like a bow and the hair on her head was as red as a rose the glint of her teeth so pearly and white and the laughter that followed oh it was a pure delight she had a sleek look and a mischievous grace that transformed into giggles when I gaped at her face. She was slender and nimble, a spry little minx, and I laughed when I saw her disbelief made me squint. A wink of her eye and a twist of her head soon gave me to know I might be soul dead. She spoke not a quip, but went straight to her task and filled all her pockets and then finished when she asked placing her finger aside of her nose with a nod and a smirk up the chimney she rose she sprang into the night to give her path gave a whistle and away she did fly like a heat-seeking missile but i heard her exclaim as she streaked out of sight to the nether world with your soul and home hey have Good night.